Hi, my name is Tom Morgan. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I blog about Skype for Business Development at thoughtstuff.co.uk. Today I'm going to be looking at the Majorwell USB Capture HDMI device. Now, those of you who uh, follow my blog will know uh, I don't usually do reviews, um, but I, I wanted to do a review of this unit because I actually came to hear about it as a result of development work. So a company came to me and they wanted to know if there was a way of taking uh, recording output that they had produced in a recording studio and outputting it and using it as the video feed. Uh, as you know, with Skype for Business, uh, it's really only webcams, it's USB devices uh, that get picked up. So uh, that's why this device was so, so interesting, because what it does is it takes HDMI input and converts it to USB in a way that means that the Skype for Business client will just see it as, as just another camera. So this is the unit here, as you can see it. Um, it's, it's quite small. Um, it's, it just comes as one kind of single unit. It's it's made of um, it's made of metal. It feels it feels sturdy. It feels well made and well put together. Uh, there's two there's two openings on it. There's a USB a USB three port at one end and at the other end HDMI input. Uh, there's these two lights on it as well. Not really sure what they do. They kind of light up when you uh, when you plug them in. Um, but I've only ever seen both of them light up together, so I'm not sure why there's why there's two like that. Um, it doesn't come with any instructions. What it does come is it comes with a USB 3 cable, um, which is which is helpful. Um, but it doesn't really come with any instructions. But I mean, like it, it's fairly obvious, right? You've got an HDMI at this end, you've got USB at this end. It, it's pretty obvious uh, what you're supposed to do with it. Um, so this is the this is the cable that it comes with. Nice nice blue cable. Um, so you plug it in, like I say, it, it kind of lights up both of the uh, both of the LEDs there in nice nice blue. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, is I'm just going to connect uh, this uh, this HDMI output. This is from another computer I have. So I'm just going to plug that in here. And now if you uh, if you look on my screen here, I've got the Skype for Business client. And if I just go straight to look at video devices, you can see there's two devices in here now. There's my standard camera, um, which is kind of uh, just built into the laptop. But then there's this other device that's shown up here. And this is this made well, uh, the HDMI converter here. As soon as I select it, you can see there's a preview here. And I don't worry too much about the quality. I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, you can see it here in the preview window. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the camera app. Uh, the the Windows 8 camera app because it is showing up to the uh, to the computer as just a USB device uh, something like the camera app can see it, it assumes it's a webcam and you can see the quality is actually really good I can go full screen here um, and this is just the output of my other computer uh, here so it's worth just kind of mentioning whilst we're talking about the the outputs um, I, I'm using the output from another computer. The the use cases there's a couple of different use cases you could you could use here. Um, it doesn't have to be another computer, although that is a, a pretty useful and valid use case because uh, you'll get better quality streaming video than you would with a remote desktop. Um, if you and it's also potentially easier if you, for instance, if you have a laptop and a main computer, it might be easier just to jack the laptop into the main computer if that's where you're already having your meeting, rather than kind of if you need to share something that's on your laptop. Other things, if you might, you might have, uh, so large companies often have recording studios internally to do uh, internal productions, and you might have that uh, in place and it just mixes down to HDMI. So being able to then pipe that through this device and out to USB could be pretty useful. One of the things I have noticed, um, if I just go into the Skype for Business client now and just do a quick meet now, there's, there's two things I noticed here and uh, one I, I would say worry about, the other maybe not so much. Uh, if I just start video, you can see in the vanity feed, uh, there's, there's kind of two things to note here. The first is the quality being shown here isn't great. Now. I've tried this in tests and actually the quality is fine. It's just the vanity feed. Um, my guess is that it shows at really low res um, in the vanity feed. I think that's probably something that the Skype for Business client is doing. But the other thing you probably should notice is that 
the vanity feed has been flipped around. Um, just expand that out and make that a little bit bigger. Yes, there's two things you notice straight away there. The first is that the quality is really, really mixed down. Now, that's not the case in the actual call. The actual call itself, the, everyone else on this call would see like the normal quality that we were seeing through the camera app. Um, but the main thing here is that the vanity feed's been flipped. Uh, and this is something that Skype for Business Client does with the vanity feed. It's not really a problem. It's only you that's seeing it uh, flipped around. Everyone else sees it completely normally. So yeah, it's, it's just really a problem for you. Um, but it, it's worth kind of noting because it might cause some problems if you roll this out to users and they're not expecting that. One of the things um, I noticed that I was expecting to do that actually I couldn't do was I wanted to I wanted to mix this into uh, output from, for instance, a PlayStation or a Chromecast or a cable box. Uh, and actually, you can't do that because of weird copy protection laws that are in place. Um, it basically just means that it shows up, uh, the output here just shows up as just a blank screen. Um, it's not that it isn't working, it's the copy protection stuff that's in place to stop you just streaming kind of live TV through straight to your computer via USB and then presumably that makes it really easy to record and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's a bit of a pain if you if you wanted to, to use this device to do that kind of stuff. Um, you can't, it's really limited to either your own HDMI output that you're doing from a mixing desk or from kind of post-production or whatever uh, and that hasn't been copy protected, uh, which if it's all internal stuff, you, you'd be absolutely fine. There's no reason why that would be really copy protected. Um, or sharing second screens, uh, sorry, second computers, second laptops, stuff like that that you can you can pipe through uh, through HDMI. I'd like to say thanks very much to Majewell for sending me this unit. It's really useful to be able to just try it, um, try out the capabilities, um, and hopefully uh, you guys can kind of see them as well now. So um, that was my review of the Majewell USB capture HDMI. Uh, you can find the written version of this review on my blog at thoughtstuff.co.uk and you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Tom Morgan, T-O-M-O-R-G-A-N. Thanks very much.